Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Snatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our biochemistry playlist. In previous videos, we talked about enzymes, the properties of the enzymes, enzyme kinetics, Michaelis Minton theory, and Linweaver Burke plot. Today, it's time to turn our attention to the K cat, the catalytic constant, which is a measure of catalytic efficiency of the enzyme. This is also known as the turnover number because we are turning over the substrate into products. This is how enzymes work. So let's get started. In the last videos, we talked about the Michaelis Minton as well as the Lynn Weaver book. Pause and review. This is my biochemistry playlist. Please watch these videos in order. Enzymes are what? Proteins. And they are what? catalysts they speed the rate of the reaction they increase the v but they lower the activation energy however the overall change of energy reaction delta g remains the same enzymes do not change the equilibria here is my enzyme this is the active site where the substrate binds and this is another site the back door the allosteric site Substrate comes in into the active site Pew! reaction the substrate has been converted into products of the reaction. The number of the substrates that are turned over or converted into products is your K-cat, the catalytic constant. And of course, the more enzymes you have, the faster the reaction. When I increase the number of the enzymes, Vmax will go up. Here's a math fact. If A is directly proportional to B, therefore A equals constant times b we have talked before about the fact that when you increase the number of the substrate the initial velocity or the initial rate of the reaction goes up therefore i can remove this and put constant times and change this into equal what's the constant here the km the constant of michaelis menton and then from this using some math proof we arrived at this as we have discussed before We'll do a very similar thing today. Here's the enzyme, here's the substrate. This is before the reaction, this is after the reaction. All right, let's go. In the beginning, enzyme plus substrate, and then this is the enzyme substrate complex, like a key in a lock, like a truck in a dock. And then before you know it, the substrate will disappear and the product will appear because the substrate has been turned over into products turned over at a rate of what at a rate of k cat any rate in the world is something over time the rate of turnover is turnover over time that's why k cat is measured in something over seconds if seconds is in the denominator you can say second power negative one what's the definition of k cat it's the catalytic constant it's the number of substrate turned over i.e converted to products per enzyme molecule per second per second that's why you can call it the turnover number some basic math of course you know that if i increase the number of the enzymes i'll increase the maximum rate of the reaction that makes sense and therefore i can remove this proportional sign and put equal constant times and what's the constant now it's the k cat the catalytic constant and of course, you know from Michaelis Minton equation that Vmax was upstairs. Can I remove Vmax and replace it with K cat times enzyme concentration? Absolutely. And the equation now looks like this. If we have low substrate concentration, this S will be extremely small. And as you know, Km will exceed the S because the S is extremely small. Now, does it make any difference if you divide by a thousand or if you divide by a thousand plus 0 0.01 no it doesn't make any difference because a thousand plus 0 0.01 is almost uh, a thousand so you can cancel the s from the denominator why can't i cancel it from the numerator because when you multiply by a small number you get very small therefore multiplying by a small number makes a difference but adding a small number doesn't make any difference so therefore the equation becomes like this and just to organize it, it becomes like this. K cat over Km is the catalytic efficiency of the enzyme. 
the higher the ratio, the more efficient the enzyme. How can I increase the catalytic efficiency of the enzyme? By either raising the numerator or decreasing the denominator. In the next video, we'll talk about cooperativity. And then in the next one, we'll talk about competitive inhibition versus non-competitive inhibition. I even have more graphs and more math in my general pharmacology course available at medicosisperfectionalis.com. I also have an antibiotics course and a brand new surgery high yields course. And for a limited time, you can get a 40% discount towards anything on my website by using promo code TOXIDROME. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Nandos, where medicine makes perfect sense.